Doctor Strange's Sanctor, Sanctum Sanctorum. This was a pretty fun build. Lots of really cool details. So it's in the windows and up on the up on the roof. And a couple a couple of spots for some of the the new um, display stands. You can put some the characters in action poses. You know the mail shipped in the mailbox. Some work out in the alley. The thing with the, the book is hidden in there with the magical portal. And I have the demon facing inside because he's not going to work when the same term goes to its final location. But overall, this was a fun build with lots of really cool details. So the first level is really just stairs, some bookcases, I guess you could call them, the grandfather clock, a chair with some pictures. The stairs are pretty cool. And then you come up and you have all this stuff behind there that gets hidden once the second floor is put on. The second floor has bookcases, some items in the bookcases, the door that opens to different dimension. Into the light. The door opens to a different dimension. You can slide the things on the back, which is a cool feature. But it's pretty weird that buried up in here, you can't see, is a red cup. I'm not sure what the point of that was. A couple chairs, some more features over there displayed. Next level up is more Strange's displaced items. I'm not quite sure what that is supposed to be. But we got some more stuff over here. I'm not sure why it was done designed like that. But got some display. A neat little scroll inside the chest. You have to get up here by floating. There's no stairs. But some neat little items. I'm not sure. These cases were kind of weird because the stuff inside it was just floating there. And that looks like a fire extinguisher. I'm not quite sure why Strange needs a fire extinguisher. But a couple of pictures. The window is a really cool build, but I'm not a fan that those are exposed. But it looks great from that side. So it looks pretty good in its final home. This may not end up working because I'm going to have the elevated werewolf there. But I have an idea for what I'm going to do if that doesn't work. But looks pretty good there. The new stand's tucked in. You can still see the billboard as you're walking around through the city. So I'm kind of happy with it there. The set came with four minifigures. Iron Man, Wong, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange has a hard plastic cape that fits around his neck. He comes some pretty cool detail on, on his hairpiece to show some age. He's got two heads. He's got the I'm casting spells head and the normal head. Tony Stark also has two heads. He's got the normal Tony Stark head and the underneath the helmet holographic kind of look for the helmet that does have the movement feature. Pretty cool minifigures. I mean, we already have enough Iron Mans and Spider Mans. I would have liked to have seen something else. They call the villains of the set, and yes, Scarlet Witch is a villain. Ebony Moore, good little figure. Was not as cool in the comics than the movie. It's not bad. Sinister Strange, pretty cool figure from the What If cartoons. He's got a little third eye, and then he's got a um, it's more neutral face. Baron Mordo. He's got his own casting magic on his face. And the smiling face. Zombie Strange. I don't know why he's got um, his hair and a ponytail. And Scarlet Witch who has the casting face. And her hair, hair is one piece. And a normal face. And I like the 
hair piece for the witch. That came out pretty good.